Hello, it's my pleasure to welcome you to our ninth annual Library Award Ceremony. Our ceremonies have grown so much and so special to us all in the College over the years that we couldn't let this year pass without congratulating you all on your achievements in the best way that we could. So this year we have gone virtual. We will still feature our special guests and most importantly you, who have done so well in our library competitions, maths magician, word detective, reading ahead and digicap. Many have completed competitions and schemes even after lockdown, which proves a very high commitment to succeeding in such difficult circumstances. We have all missed you very much in the libraries and hope that you have received your digital certificates and information on how to claim your prizes and hope to see you in the library very soon. I would like to say a big personal thank you to Jackie Hughes and her Tuesday afternoon group, who not only completed Reading Ahead, but Word Detective and Maths Magician schemes, whilst providing me with a very lively and entertaining session to look forward to each week. The Library would like to say a big thank you to teacher Sharon Gray for judging our literary competitions, and Pat Brennan Barrett, Jan Hurt, and author Sue Bentley for contributing to this celebration. Thank you and please enjoy. I'd like to start the celebrations today by congratulating the 82 students who have completed our award-winning Maths Magician and Word Detective schemes. Not only have you progressed your maths, You've also developed your language skills and your subject specific vocabulary in areas such as construction and motor vehicle. Well done to all the Platinum Word Detective Achievers and the Maths Magician Finishers. I'm here to congratulate the students who have achieved Platinum in our DigiCap scheme this year. For those of you who haven't come across it before, DigiCap is a library scheme that teaches computer skills. It's got four levels of difficulty. Bronze starts with basics like how to switch a computer on, how to use a mouse, how to use a keyboard, things like that. And Platinum, our top level, covers much more complex tasks like using formulas in Excel. It's genuinely pretty difficult to work all the way through from Bronze to Platinum, so it is a real achievement. Um, in a world where we use technology for nearly everything, it's a really helpful programme to work through and I really hope that those of you who have completed Platinum this year feel much more confident in your skills now. This year, we've had a lot of people taking part in DigiCap. Some of you have chosen to do it individually, which shows a brilliant determination to succeed. Some of you have worked in groups with me or Valentina and it's been amazing to see your skills develop across the year. 
and some of you have worked through it with your teachers and you've sent your work to us as you've progressed through it and it's been really lovely to follow along um, with your work like that um, and teachers if there are any of you watching we really do appreciate your support with DigiCap we love that you value it and you want to promote it with your students so thank you for all of your help um, so congratulations to everyone who has completed bronze, silver or gold this year but the biggest congratulations go to those who have completed platinum it really is a huge achievement and you should be really, really proud of yourselves. Your name should be on the screen at the end of this video. Again, congratulations. And that's all from me. Good luck in whatever you're doing next year. And I look forward to seeing lots of you again. This is Sue Bentley from Lockdown in Northampton. What strange times we are living through and all the challenges that that presents. The one thing that gives me a lot of comfort and joy is reading. As you can see behind me, I have lots of books. I actually own thousands and thousands of them. So I'm probably uh, really well qualified to speak about reading and of course about writing. As you know, I write books for children and for adults. But the purpose of talking to you, today, to you today is to congratulate all of you on your achievements uh, with the Reading Awards. Normally I would be at the college, as would all of us, uh, sitting there in that lovely big room, perhaps with the new mayor next to me, and um, meeting all of you, um, uh, sharing a few words, giving out the uh, certificates for the awards, and we'd all be having a wonderful time. Uh, hopefully... This will be a reasonable second. It can't come close to all being together and to smiling at each other, even exchanging hugs actually now and again, because we can't do that. Even if we were at college, we would be having to social distance. But at least I am having the opportunity to speak to you today and I'm very uh, happy to be able to do so. And again, to send all of you my many, many warm congratulations well done all of you for your achievements, for getting a reading award this year and hopefully next year we'll all be able to be together um, in flesh, in spirit and share the award ceremony as we've done in the past. But until, until then, congratulations again and all my best wishes to you. Hi, my name's Jan Hatt and I'm privileged to be the Vice Principal who sees all the work that our library staff do to support you as students to do the best they absolutely can in their studies. But above and beyond that, they also provide these wonderful competitions that enable you to evidence your skills and your talents in terms of the artistic side uh, of your learning as well. So I am delighted that this uh, award ceremony has still managed to go ahead through the innovativeness of our library staff and I hope you take this opportunity to reflect on your achievements this year and to be very proud of what you've done. So now to some of the library's amazing literary and art competition entries and winners. We had over 100 entries this year and the standard was so high that it made it really hard for the judges to decide who should receive a place and a prize. Special thank you goes to English teacher Sharon Gray,
for judging the library's Daniel Stannard Literary Competition based around the theme of Winter Wonderland. Entries could be in poem or either short story format. These are just a few of the wonderful entries they received and we would like to congratulate as winners. For the illustration competition, the library decided to accept entries in any art format with the theme In the Wild. Judging was conducted virtually online via the library website and all staff and students were able to vote on their three favourite pieces. Those who received the most votes won a place on the winners list. So please enjoy seeing some wonderful images of the winning artworks from our college students. The library is currently undertaking two further competitions, Creative Writing and Art Life in Lockdown Challenges. These will be digital submissions and virtually judged via the library website. Good luck to everyone who enters. So I'm absolutely delighted that once again Northampton College has got the Reading Ahead Award scheme. I'm thrilled that so many of you have succeeded in this achievement, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic. Once again, we've got hundreds of students who've committed to reading their books 
and writing a diary. And we've got students who've written poetry and stories and really excelled. So I'd like to say congratulations to all of you and to thank you too for all of the work that you've done and all the work that the library staff have done. The library is at the heart of our college, supporting students in their qualifications. Congratulations to you all and I'd just like to make a special thank you to all the library staff who've supported you to get to these awards today. And also to Sue Bentley who always supports us and she's a very famous author and we really enjoy reading her books. <laughs>